Welcome to Zero Patreon Brew by Atari. <laughs> Your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games mm -hmm. played in HD um, at 60 frames a second. Welcome to the show. And why we're late today. <laughs> <laughs> we are late. Um, those of you watching on YouTube might also know why we're late because there's a, sh a stream on YouTube we did just before this one. Um, we played a full playthrough of Circus Convoy, minus six stars. <laughs> well, you so. say we, but really you did. I joined... Supervised. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he supervised yeah. it. Yeah, so that's why uh, we're late for those people who are watching live on Twitch. Mm -hmm. um, welcome to the show. Hopefully it's broadcasting. Yeah, it should be. Mm -hmm. um, so we, uh, because the ROM, the binary, came out today for those who paid for the upper tiers of it and they started shipping circus convoy so i thought why not play the game now that people are able to Get play it it. it has massive spoilers mm -hmm. so those of you who want to watch it and if you watch it it's everything it's the whole thing <laughs> so be very careful minus six stars which i don't know where they are yeah nobody knows where they well, are at this point as far as i know, them out, but you know somebody will figure them good. out yeah. Um, but today we're going to be playing four games on the show. We are going to be playing... Oh, one second. A little disorganized here. Got most of it ready. Uh, we're going to be playing A Tour from 2010 by Bjorn Algul uh, on Atari Age Forms. He's Bjorn. We're going to be playing Dragon Hunt. It's a 2021 work in progress. Uh, also Sisyphus. Mm-hmm from release this year as well nice. complete nice uh by kirk israel and we're going to be doing uh playing an exclusive work in progress update of robot war Ooh. 2684 nice. nice sent to me by john champo from mm -hmm. champ games very exciting um i want to thank all the twitch subscribers who uh, support the show? 8 Bit Swami, Elna for Armscar, Coder, Cafe Man, Canadian Tenor, Catalogs, Charles and Check, Coconut 81, Danny PC, Drexel, Ambudam, Great Defender, Gretem's Orju Rapper, Johnny WC, Juan Urado, Jupiter Storm, Carl G, Kev Kelly, Croco, Kai Gandor, Leo the Low, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Mr. Zarna Whoopa, Miss Muddy Funster, Nathan Strom, Pack Rat, VG, Kohog, RC70, Repentless, VG, Cardo Pim, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Socrates, Spice War, S. Ramirez, The D Train, Welshman89, Tiki Dan, K, Tifos, Trek, MD. You are on the list, so it must have gone through. Did you just update it? Just before yeah. the show. Yeah. I, so it, it, it didn't come on the screen. It didn't come on the screen. That's okay. Eh. <clears throat> eh. Yeah. Uh, Carl G asks, how long did the playthrough take? Uh, about. 40 minutes i think i in paused total. I in total one game the actual stream took two hours because you yeah you, you i did it yeah at one point it's still but... not easy I, I i know how to play all the games get all the stars yes but it's still a challenging game yes, yes to get yes. it absolutely perfect mm -hmm. because it's not like modern games mm -hmm. where it allows you to like oh you didn't do so well you want to try it again mm -hmm. it's like no you lost a life and now that's blocked off and that's you can't it. get it mm -hmm. So it's kind of good that way because it has a lot of replay value. You're trying to get perfect, yes. perfect, perfect. That's right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the ROMs, uh, the binaries came out today for those who got it. So mm -hmm. enjoy. Um, yeah, and you can support the show and subscribe for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and get on that list right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, the camera's all weird. No, it's it's all weird. a little high. It's a little zoomed it's in, that's high. all. It's a little zoomed in. Yeah, it's different. It's fine. I'm fine with it. <laughs> um, and make sure you follow and like and subscribe on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, because you will see shows like the thing we just did on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And it'll alert you, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Depends if you have the bell and all this stuff. Oh, yeah, the bell. You have to have That's the right. bell clicked on or because something. Because then it'll say something's happening. Then it'll happening. tell you, yeah. Because it was a live stream. The first one I did on, on um, YouTube. Yeah. Uh, we're going to just jump right into the games. I don't have a lot of news. Probably have more on Friday. Yeah. More than zero? Probably. More than zero news. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to play... Uh, I, Dan says, still waiting for my ROM, I think. I heard somebody type they're doing VIPs first. Okay, they're doing it... In... I think they're doing them as they ship them. Mm. So if they get, like, mm. your box ready, they'll go Bing. shipped. Yeah. And then it'll go, here's your binary. 
Mm. So I know at least one person has got it because somebody posted like three minutes of gameplay. Okay. And I was like, oh, okay, it's out. Time to play. Yeah. And there we go. Yeah, yeah that's that's my guess too. It makes sense yeah. because it's probably all joined together. Mm. That's right. You, it's like you paid, it shipped, click. Mm. You've got this version. Your binary is available. Mm. And um, I think I said last show that uh, the Harmony Encore has now been updated. Yeah, we showed it last show. Was updated so Circus Convoy can be played on Harmony Encore. Excellent. For those who want to play it on a mm. actual hardware, because mm. it's not been updated for Uno. It has been updated for plus cart mm -hmm. so those who got plus cart i think it does but you have to install a very specific update to get it to work to get it to work okay. not it's not on the normal plus cart you have to use a usb connector or something mm -hmm. go ask them go in the go in those forums and you'll find out i haven't done it so i i can't really comment on that we're going to be playing a tour first now we've got sure. some instructions here. It's an adventure game. Here you go. Mm. Actually, you'll be playing it. I'll be talking about it. Um, so this was first posted May 31st, 2010, and this build is from August 29th, 2010. And I know some cartridges Ooh. were released. Dan ABC says he got the collector's edition. I guess that's of Circus Convoy. No unboxing today of, of what? Don't have a box. Nope. <laughs> There's no box. No boxings. The, the, no newses. The, no, no, no. Nothing Nothing yeah. too shocking happening today. <laughs> I mean, I could pretend to unbox Circus Convoy again. Yeah. <laughs> because I, I didn't have a box, though. I had all sure. the stuff in the box, but no box. Mm. But it's time to play games. No, no I didn't. Get, I checked. The, we checked the mail just before. Uh, yeah, earlier you did. Today. Yeah, there was nothing. Uh, wasn't in the, nothing in the mail. In there, so, yeah. Yeah, so. Mm. Send me some stuff, Send me I guess. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll do unboxing. I, I do still have some stuff coming. I don't know what it is. I think I have some adapters. What, was, what adapter do I have? I can't remember. Okay, so here you go. Okay. Let's load up today's date, and then a tour. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, there's the BIOS updater I did. A tour. Send them something to unbox. Preferably something interesting. Yes. Ha! A tour of Bjorn. Okay. So I think you can jump right into it and see how you do. And we'll kind of learn as we go. That is health, I know. And there's lives in the bottom left. Oh, you get your health again. That's pretty good. Maybe there's always health at home. How, how, oh, I do have a sword. So the story is myriads of years. I never hear that described like that too often. Uh, Past since man first set on the moon. Terrible wars raged and a great ecological problems arose. Much was destroyed. And the face of the earth was changed. Finally, tired of the endless troubles, the people of the world united to build a durable era of cooperation. Doesn't seem like that. <laughs> Peace and prosperity. Technology... Developed as never before, and mankind traveled to the stars and spread throughout the galaxy. However, even this golden era of uh, age of technology came to an end somehow. I guess records were lost. Contact with the other worlds were lost. The adva advanced technology and great cities were abandoned, and mankind's numbers dwindled as they were... So this is like future regression type of thing. There's There's been like movies and books made about that, where it's like, Mankind made it so far and then something terrible happened and then they kind of had to rebuild and lost all their technology. I always find it weird when they uh, when they're like uh, don't have any records of all the inventions and uh, all the knowledge is lost. You'd have to have like a big EMP and just destroy everything. Oh, uh, there's a lot of story. We're going to skip to how to play. Like there's pages and pages of story. We'll get back to that. In this game, you will control uh, Cigna on her adventure in the land of a tour. The game below shows a typical game screen. So uh, that is the health bar in the middle bottom. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the bottom left is the Newman points. I'm sure we'll get to that. That's a foe. Uh, that's Cigna, the yellow uh, person that you're controlling. Uh, inventory is below the health bar. You don't have any inventory yet. 
There you go. In the center of the screen, you'll see Cigna and a top-down view of our surrounding areas. Any foes and items that are in this area. Spitting fish. Were, th were the fish on the land or in the water? Mm -hmm. That looks like a bat. Somebody said there was a spitting fish. Oh, there might have been. This must be why collectors like physical records so much. Oh, it is a land fish. It's a land fish. Land fish. A spitting land fish. Nice. I've seen spitting fish. Have you seen those? Where they spit at bugs on leaves? And the bugs fall into the water and then they eat the bugs? Mm. You've never seen a video of that? Spitting land? Yeah. Spitting yeah, fish. I not think in, so. Not on the land. They're, they're, in, the, they're in the water. <clears throat> On the bottom left are your Newman vo yeah, da, 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 da. To move Signa around, press the joystick in that direction. Walls and other obstacles will block her path. Oh, did you throw it? Throw that yeah, switch? Awesome. I did. When Signa reaches the edge of a screen, her path is not blocked by walls. She has moved to the next oh. area. Oh, boy. Oh, I died. Next area in that direction. I bet this is one a game where you have to press reset. Mm -hmm. It's from 2010. I, I badger the uh, developers nowadays. Make the button reset. Make it reset. Um, to make Cygna swing her sword, press the joystick button. She can keep her sword sticking out by keeping the joystick button pressed. Have you tried that? Hmm. Can't go across there. What? Say, say that again? You can keep your uh, uh, sword out by keeping the button pressed. You do have to press it to swing it again once it's hit something mm -hmm. but if you uh hmm? is it already switched mm, i guess so hmm. did it actually physically move last time yeah i thought so but uh i don't think that bridge was there before was it hmm oh, oh good luck getting that mean. one. Oh, you mean the bridge across yeah mm. maybe it remembers from game to game because that was already thrown and the bridge was open. Or maybe it doesn't change looks. Don't you have a reset stick or a tra cat, uh, train a cat to do it? We've been trying to train the cats. They've been totally uncooperative. They'll eat the treats, but not throw the switch. So what do you do? Ah! What, <laughs> what can <happens>? you do? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So James hasn't gotten to that part yet. Every time Cigna de defeats a foe, she becomes a bit more experienced. Yeah. If you keep on building experience like this, she will become stronger. The maximum health size of her health bar will increase, and, and as will her available Newman points. She will also become stronger, be able to defeat her foes with less hits. So, the more things you f defeat, the better. Okay. It's already switched. Yeah. So, heart, that's a healing heart. Heals Cygna's health. That's pretty obvious. Uh, a Sylvan sign restores Cygna's Newman points. Mm -hmm. But I think it's one of those games where if a creature is, like, on you, it'll just drain, 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 drain oh. your lives, right? Uh, and a switch opens up a path if stuck. So that's what it did. Oh, yeah. there we go. So now you've you've got a you've got a seven sign, two of them, up from one, which is good. Uh, whenever Signa gets hurt, her health bar is drained. When her health bar is depleted, Signa is defeated, and the game will be over. Fortunately, due to the mysterious powers of the Mystic Medallion, you can escape death by pressing the reset button. Oh. Uh, she'll be revived in front of your house, a bit weakened from the ordeal. So the reset doesn't actually restart the game. Yeah, that's why the switch it was already continues flipped. Continues the game. That's that's unusual. Not many people use it that way. Uh, usually, it's like no, it starts over completely. Hmm. Uh, one switch can affect several places at the same time. So after hitting a switch, be be sure to return to any suspicious-looking places you visited before. Likewise, when Signa defeats a powerful foe, the curse on a tour may weaken somewhat and places that have been changed by it may revert. Like this, the road ahead that was blocked may become open to you. That looks like a boss. <gasps> <laughs> it's one of those things that just destroys you. Yeah. So, yeah, you're out of, out of those Cigna things. I would go back and forth and get those hearts. That's go back to good. your house. No, I don't think you no? get much. Ah! 
So it's one of those games where if you defeat an enemy, it just comes right back on a screen. So if you don't want to bother, you would just uh, you would just bypass the enemy. So it does switch. Okay. Ooh. So. <laughs> I need to be stronger, obviously. Yeah, I think you need to be stronger. <laughs> need a modded controller. Oh, that would be cool. Okay. To win the game, Cigna must defeat Queen Ikaza and save her beloved. However, the patch to Ikaza is blocked by a dark curse that is immune to normal swords. You must collect three Newman leaves to gain the power to break the curse. Until that time, stay well away from it. The touch is lethal. If you can find any Newman shield, enemy projectiles will not harm Cigna anymore. Ooh, that's a good one. The Newman armor will reduce damage that Cigna suffers by half. It's also rumored that there is a powerful Newman sword that will double the damage of Cigna can do. So there's three things to find, or more actually. The shield, armor, and a more powerful, powerful sword. There are also rumors of Newman books that can teach Cigna mysterious powers. It is rumored that the Book of Life can fully recover Cigna from the brink of death as long as she has Newman points left. Mm. Every use of the book, Life book will cost one Newman point. So that's what those are for. So you don't have to fight this guy. No. He seems like one of the harder enemies. I don't Maybe know. not. He doesn't, he doesn't kill hurt me very you very much. much. Scorpion. The snake seems to be a big problem. Uh, that exists. Mm. Uh, doesn't your 2600 use the Tim Worthington RGB mod? Yeah, I didn't opt to... Because I have an RGB mod that does have an external reset switch option. The way they showed it is you had to mod your Atari 2600 controller. And you had to almost permanently wire it in. It, it was really weird. So... I could mod my 2600 to have an external reset switch, which may be kind of cool, and run it over here. I was hitting the house. <laughs> uh, furthermore, there's a legendary book of striking which teaches how to strike a foe at a distance. If you can find it, you will need to switch the left difficulty switch to A to activate it, switch the left difficulty switch back to B to disable it. Oh, every use of the book, striking will cost one Newman point. Oh my god. That's, uh... I would use that on bosses, that's for sure, only. Cygnus health can be healed by picking up small and big healing hearts. So there's big ones, too. Uh, to replenish your Newman points, look for the small or big Sivan signs. Cygnus health and Newman points will also be restored when she becomes stronger through gaining experience. Many dangers and secrets await. Cygna on her quest, however, with persistence, you will be successful. Good luck. You can use any 2600 compatible controller to do it. Yeah, doesn't it? It wires through one of the pins, doesn't it? Yeah, but then you're forced to use the controller. And then it's always wired. Does it oh, interfere? This guy moves fast. Look how oh my God. it goes to you. I can't get past Deadly. there anyway. Huh. I'll have to look that in, look into that again. But I remember just the options didn't seem good to me. They seem very permanent. Oh, deadly. Um, so we do have a map here. Uh, it looks nope. like you're in section 11. <gasps> really? That oh was my really god. Fast. So it should take one of those things off. No, it gets rid of all of them. Okay. But it, it kind of continues the game where you were with all the switches thrown. Mm -hmm. Yes, it would be just the use of that controller that you would use. It would be. It would be, but just use the controller you want to use the most. Well, I don't think I'll be altering my Edladen to add a reset button. That's the thing. If it was on controller 2, I guess you could wire it to controller 2 and have a second button. I don't think I'm supposed to hit deal with that guy yet. Uh, no, he killed you like in two hits. Hmm. So I do have... A page of hints that will help us along. All right, good. If that we would want. have been uh, helpful, like, mm, uh, when we started. <laughs> well, these are extra hints, like if you need help. But we'll, re we'll read them out. 
It says, in this page, I'll write down a few hints for playing a tour. These hints may be somewhat of a spoiler. So if you don't like to find <gasps> out everything yourself, what happened? Oh, Lord. Deadly? Yeah, the snake gets, goes for you really fast. <clears throat> Crossbow, there must be a way to, to not wire it into a controller and have like a separate out from the 2600 to have a little external button. Um, or double up the wiring so it could be used on either port with that controller. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, Kev Kelly, that's that's exactly what I would probably do if I could do it. Uh, make an extension cable and have a button on the cable. It's already hit. Huh? Already thrown. So I'm guessing once you throw it... Can you walk up to that guy? What happened? Did you walk off the screen down? I didn't think so, but I must have. It looks like that you went, snake gets you immediately. It looks like you went down Here's into the thing. another screen. I think screen. I need to go because I lost all whatever those Newman things yes. are. So I think I need to I need to kill. Oh, there's a the shield. Yeah, but it hasn't been. So you need water walking, or you need to throw some switches, I guess. Smack. Okay, some of the hints. Uh, level up as much as possible until you feel confident and can take a few hits. There are many places in the game where you can level up easily by going back and forward by grinding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess against uh, really easy foes mm -hmm. that don't even shoot. Like, this guy doesn't shoot, right? Mm -hmm. the, the dancing uh, lampshade. Yeah. Dancing mushroom. So that would be the guy to... Oh, not that guy. You're almost dead. You're almost dead. I thought I might get something from him. Mmm... Uh, don't rush in when fighting. Look at your foe's pattern and try to strike from a safe position. The problem is, is like the snakes go right for you. Yeah, like you, you barely go on the screen and you're dead with the snake. Barely even see this. Oh, is that where he was? I think you should go home and get some hearts. That's what I'm trying to figure out where my home is. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So maybe I'd, I'd just look into soldering a couple wires to the switch, stick them in something like an RJ11 socket hanging out the back. Yeah. Then use a switch soldered to some generic phone cable. Yep, that's a good one. Could easily be t detached when not wanted. Yeah. Actually, you could like run something through so you don't have to cut a hole too out one of the, just a hole through the back of the Atari 2600. Oh, Crossbow says that it really, it isn't really just a switch. The logic in the RGB is looking for an extra button plus a direction. Oh, so it's kind of wired in. See, I just got two. Oh, how did you get it? I don't know. Were it they just... on the ground? Hmm. You didn't pick one up? It was just from defeating somebody? Yeah. Uh, stick your sword out. It's good for the first hit. Ah, so walk around with your sword out. That might help against the snake or... Yeah, kill things immediately. Uh, Metal Lunar says you got them when you defeated him. I did, but I got two at once, which wow. I thought was a little weird. Yeah, good bonus. Yeah. Crab. Oh, a lot of things could be hit, killed with one hit. Oh, that is a yeah, good hit. Yeah, that does help. Uh, your foe can shoot only one arrow at a time. Use this to your advantage. Bosses are big and dangerous. However, they always shoot from the same point. Understanding this pattern... Oh, oh, what was that? Yeah, we got one. Oh, okay. Understanding this pattern will uh, pave your way to victory. If you're sufficiently skillful with the sword, you might be able to cut your foe's arrow right in half, destroying mm. it. Oh, that, that would be... Uh, I think they always move... Subscribe, yar. You, you walked right on him. I had the. I thought I had the. Well, uh, doesn't matter. I hit the button, but obviously he needed two hits. I feel like. I feel like the health is a little weird. Like yeah. the. It's like all of a sudden you're down to nothing. Thank you, Ground Trooper, for resubscribing. Twenty nine months. I don't even understand that number. <laughs> that woke me up. Yeah, it uh, goes through the desktop audio. I think. I'm going to turn that down so it doesn't destroy our brains. Uh, it's dangerous inside the dark cave. Oh, we haven't even been there. Fortunately, there's a way to turn on the lights again nearby. 
Oh, maybe the lights go out. The bridge across the river has disappeared, but follow the river to its source and you'll find a way to restore it. You found that already. Yeah. Queen Eka... Oh, I won't read that. It's the bridge. Yeah. Some powerful foes that guard treasures will try to fool you into thinking you have defeated them. Oh my god, these are way, way advanced. Uh, hints. We'll leave those. Hey, ground trooper. Sorry I'm late and I can't stay. I'll oh, catch the geez. rewatch. Well, you're almost, you're kind of early, but also late at the same time. Because it's 7.30, but we started at 7. <laughs> so we started late. Palm trees. So there are 18 areas in here. Oh, a switch that's unavailable. Oh, can you go through there? Have you been there before? No. He looks dangerous. Cave crabs. Oh, not too bad. Stick out your sword. Oh, think you can defeat her? Uh, I don't know. Try it. Nope. Oh, God. <laughs> One hit death. Yeah. I don't have the shield yet, though, so. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Can you continue reading the story or <gasps> read some hints. Didn't you read them already? Oh, I read them to a point, then it was like, oh, this is cheaty. This is very cheaty. <laughs> oh, you can get them from that flower. Look, over mm -hmm. and over. You max out at three. You get them from the flower. No, I killed the flower multiple times and didn't get them. Well, I just got... Yeah, but you already row. have all my experience, so oh. maybe that's why. Oh, okay. Queen is cut. Uh, yeah, we've already figured that out. Hmm. My mom found the poop sock. <laughs> Thank you for uh, following. <laughs> mm, a little bit. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Quite the name. Quite the name. Howdy. The castle. So the black ship is anchored near the beach. When you find the way to make the tides of sea, you'll be able to get to the ship from the beach. I don't know. Uh, once you find your way to the black ship, another road nearby will be open to you. go in that cave up above here. Hmm. Have you been in this cave? I don't know. There's a bunch of caves. It seems like this is a very big world. Yeah. kind of want to like We may come back Map to it out. Good job. That's a new one. Oh my god. There are lots of bosses Should around. I get, yeah. Try? Try. I haven't really okay. just dodged the... Oh yeah. He shoots from the same spot so... Uh, see one it doesn't hit. take much. You don't have the shield but I don't know how to get the shield. Yeah, the shield would definitely help. So, mm. There we go. You see, these things well, aren't helping me, though. No, it's just saying you have to do a lot of things to get things. and <laughs> get things, yeah. yeah. Game time! Yes, it is yeah. deactivated style. Wow, this is quite a, quite a complex um, game, it seems. It is. Um, it was sold mm. on cartridge. Um, around 2010, 2011, um, then I read about some controversy mm. that What's somebody huge? got paid to make a bunch of them and, uh, they ran away with the money, which was very bad. Mm. I if I can get some hearts. I need some hearts. There we go. I'm going to try and defeat that boss. Because that boss seems like a defeatable. There's a bunch of bosses in here, though, that I've run across. I haven't tried to kill any of them yet. So. Uh, I'm going to try for that You're one. You're in because the upper part there? Yeah. It doesn't seem too bad. Mm. Like, I just have to stay out of his way. You're in the dark cave right now. Oh, God. hope the lights don't go out. It's nothing worse than... Oh, watch this. 
Yeah, you can, but you can't get it, which is annoying. Okay, here comes the boss again. See? Ah. Now, ooh. what is this? Oh, it's something. Yeah. It doesn't have pictures of what they are, unfortunately. So that might be the shield. No, no. The shield is, is hidden oh, in a the, certain location. So. so what were the things? Um, there's the shield, the sword, and then uh, the armor, but I don't think that's any of those things. Apparently there's riddles you have to solve to get those things. What? Yeah. I think it's... It's, it's... it's the name of the land. Yeah. Oh, Atur sure. is the name of the land, and uh, what's the name of the person again? Sig Sigma? Sig Sigma? Sigma? Sigma. What did you say? I think. Sigma. So I've got something. We've made progression. I'm gonna go look Sigma. at look at that shield again now that I've defeated a boss. Mm -hmm. mm. See, I told you. Get one every time now, which is great. So that was the shield, but oh, there's a red dot now. Yeah, that's the thing we I got from the boss. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that is. Don't know. This is where the, oh God. that big guy is. Ooh, he looks. One touch and you're dead. So mm. you have to stay away, but I don't think I can safe. Like, no. Oh, oh my God. Oh, you're almost dead. I think I need some healing help from this. Piece. Oh, my God. Oh, you got a, you got a full, you probably got a, a Newman point. They, they completely replenishes. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. But I wasn't doing too bad like I was hitting him. If I stay here... Oh, my oh, God. No, he shoots you. You almost want to get under him? I don't know. Oh, my God. Oh, you my God. You get your heart. I know. Because I... Uh, he's your seven dead sometimes. I went off the screen. It's easier this way. Yeah, it is. Because he's, like, on you immediately when you go on the screen. But this way... Oh. Don't forget to get the heart. <laughs> you know, I'm like, defeat, defeats, yay. Defeats the purpose. <laughs> Actually, I have a higher health uh, amount that I can go up to now. What is happening? Um, is it your plugged sword in? Is, yes, is able to block or take out their shots to protect you. So if your sword is out, it'll block the shots? Uh, Maybe? Well, one, if you're lined up. He's too deadly. You can't do that because then he resets, I think. Yeah. He's too deadly. I can't do him right now. I can't defeat that guy. It's just... It's just the angle. Yeah, it's just the angle. I'll, I'll look around for another boss. Give him my hearts. <laughs> Back up to full, please. One more. At least the grinding's fast. Yeah. So let's go up here. Oh yeah, there's um, a switch. Oh, I've already it? switched that though. Uh, okay. It doesn't reset, so you don't actually have to go back and redo them. No. But you do need to grind to get your points back up, I think. So let's take a look this way. Ooh, deadly snake. Snakes are awful. Should I try? Yeah. I think I was just lucky there. Yeah. Mm. These guys aren't that bad, actually. Mm. That guy shoots a lot. Problem is, if I def oh, I can walk through there. Yeah. Can I walk? No, I just happen to sneak through. Oh, you can barely sneak through there. Mm. So what's down here? Let's try this way. So I've been this way. Oh my god. Oh, he almost. No, it's That's not a switch There's you a can't switch you can't access. Get yet. Oh, can you go up to the right? I've gone through the middle. Oh, you can. Oh, I don't think you've been here before. Yeah, I have. I have. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, those snakes are bad. They move really fast. Can you hit him? He's uh, doing something. That's um, funny. Is it? What is that? Where are you? <laughs> you are. It's not really killing him. Oh, you're up in the top. Oh nine. my god. <sighs> Did he move? Uh, no. I went down. Him? A snake was destroying me. Oh no! Then I ran up and ran into that guy. Oh no! 
Which so that's the cursed forest that you were in there. Okay. Mm. I've got to get my, mm. my things. Interesting. Ow. Yeah, he specifically is the only thing that gives you those. No. No, he's not. No? Yeah, I've gotten them for many things. Well, he consistently he gives them. So where haven't I been? Well, you haven't seen much of the cemetery, but I found some of the things and they're really hard to defeat. Where's that? To the right? Yeah, up. to the right. Yeah. And so this here is the, what is it? 11, the rye fields. I haven't killed that yet. <gasps> oh. I'll just come back. Yeah. And then to the right or left? Uh, go to the right again. Oh God. Oh God, get out of his way. <sighs> this game is a bit harsh on the death dealing. At least you, you keep your ex experience level. Look how high your heart bar is now. So you have all your experience that you had before. Yeah, and you keep your thing that you get. Like, I still have... You, you don't have your points, but... Whatever that thing is, I yeah. have. So, yeah, this is the, the, the rye fields. If you go up, you hit the, um, the castle. Oh, there's the witch. So she's the witch. You want to get out of there, I think. Oh! Good job. You didn't get anything, though. So that's the castle. And she comes back. So she's just a normal... Yeah. And then now you're up in the Cursed there. Forest. Okay, where did you want me to go? South? Um, you can go up from there and see what's above. I think this is where I went oh, last there's time. there's a switch. There's nothing through there. The witch is down there. Should I go to the right of the witch? I don't know. I think we've, we've seen a lot of these areas. Mm. That is more of the cursed forest. We've been up through there too. So you're down around the. So I can go, actually fight the witch so properly. So twelve is the ancient tower. So you're going up. Oh. The oh, well, you got a new in point or something. And my health went to full. Yeah. But she didn't give anything, so not much point. Not much point risking your life there. Hmm. So this is the beach hut. Yeah. Go up. Okay. That guy might be hard. Hmm. That's better. Bye bye. Oh, he is. He moves like speedy. And go up again. Uh, yeah, you're back in the rye fields. If you go up again. Oh, okay. I mean, go... we've been to all of these areas, okay. but there there must be little. I actually I don't know if we've been up into the cemetery. Okay. Where so if that? you go up. Yep. And up. Through the rye fields. Yep. Okay. This gets you to the cemetery. That's okay. these guys. How do I get in? Oh, further. Okay. It's a castle. Oh. This one I did, and this guy turned into a corpse and attacked me really oh, fast. My... Uh, yeah. So don't touch him. Well, I don't know. I don't know. You could probably kill him, but... Let's go back there. That's just to the right. I'm going to cross up there. Then up. Mm -hmm. Then up. And then... Attack him? And you can. He's going to turn into a corpse. For some reason. Run, 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 nope. run, or kill him. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Use, use the environment. Oh, oh my, my god. god. And that's it? And that's it? You get nothing? Uh, never mean. again. Leave him as a zombie. Yeah. There's another I'm zombie. not going to defeat that guy either. That guy I killed without problem. And that's flipped thrown already. That. Yeah. So, meh. Okay. Oh, can I get in that yeah. castle? How do I get oh, in there? Oh, maybe you can't. It's from the, from the right. So I'll have to go around. Hmm. I'm going to try and get in there. Even though there's nothing in there. Oh, still can't get in there. Let's go around some more. Uh, yeah. 
maybe uh, there's a switch to flip. I don't know. Still can't get in there. No. I still can't get in there. How the hell? Like I went all the way around the castle, and no, but but when you oh, flip switches, look at that. When you flip switches, it opens. That's that's when those things open. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, anywhere else we haven't been set yet to look? I think we've seen everything, but there's supposed to be riddles to solve. So they're probably things you have to do. Yeah. But I, or, or there was that, that monster dude you could have tried to kill. I'll try that guy again. Yeah. Um, Wait, to the bottom right? Bottom, that one? Yeah. Yeah. I might be able to defeat him. And then there's the caverns to the up, upper part. So maybe. Here we go. Hmm. I, should I go up and around him? I mean, down and around him? Oh, oh! You got a second thing. What Whatever are those that things? is, I don't know. Just barely survived. Need health. <gasps> there. There's health. So I've progressed <laughs> and destroyed an enemy. Hmm. Okay. You need a map to remember where the enemy is on each screen and go into the from the right side. Hmm. Dio Mida, you guys are better than me. I would have quit out of frustration by now. <laughs> We're seasoned veterans. You've got all the at frustrating now, yeah. games. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, nope, get... that's not that's open. That's still blocked. Yeah. There's a switch. Maybe that switch is open now. Oh, possibly. Yeah, the switch. Where was the switch? It was to the right by the water somewhere. I've got all three of those. So. Get some hearts from home and then go look for that switch by the water. I think it was either... No, that's... Oh, oh. Oh, oh my god. There's some more water. Let's go around the water. Still can't get at that switch. Hmm. Hmm. Go back to that temple thing. This? Yeah. Yeah. It's just that like, witch in there. No, no, no. The shrine is linked to something. There's maybe have you tried hitting the shrine or doing anything? Up here? No, no, the shrine. It was down in the bottom right. You oh. ran away from it right away. <laughs> Didn't bottom, recognize bottom, it. Bottom, bottom, bottom right corner. Uh, over here. Here? Yeah. Let's see. Is there anything you can do with that? Oh, this is new. Oh, <gasps> it's a big fish. It's a big. Fish. Yeah, it flashed. Oh. Run back. Oh. It's so a big fish. It flashed up. It's an invisible. Big fish. Big fish. <laughs> okay. Well, that's our next uh, go. Invisible, invisible big fish. Okay. Uh, stock up on health. Go over to the invisible big fish. Cross over the water. Go away from everyone because they don't help you at all except just kill you. Around here. Kill that. No, yeah. No. Hit the shrine and see if anything happens. I don't know. I haven't seen anything interact no. with anything. No. Ever. Hmm. I mean, it's possible. What See, it happening? flashes up when you jump up on the screen? Yeah. He is there. He is. Need some more health now. I'm not going back home for it. Watch your mushroom. Ah! That was counterproductive. Yes, it was. Let's just do the fish. He always appears the exact same spot. You have to get the heart. You keep hitting him and not getting the heart. Completely. There oh. you go. And you got something. Okay. Okay. So. What am I going to do with this fish? It has a it has a thing I can hit. I think I have to hit that thing. Mm. 
a stiff bite. <laughs> No, you're dead. You're dead. That is that. Oh! You're dead. You have no life left. But I was hitting it. Yeah. And it was it was bouncing it, it back. It flashed up as a fish. Yeah. Which an enormous fish. So I think I can defeat him. Because I got like five hits on him. Has an armory. Hmm. You just can't exit the room, though. <laughs> no, you turn to the right and it kills you immediately. You have to keep hitting down. I have to reposition myself. Then. I know, but I, I don't think he was hitting you until you turned. Mm. So just keep hitting. It's probably the best thing you can do. Oh, you know what it is? What? It's that fish yeah. being exploded up big, I mm. think. That's what you're seeing. It's just a programming error. Hmm. Should I, maybe I should try it from the left here. Because if I start in the left he, and I move over to the right, maybe I can get the wrong. Oh my god. Trying once more, and then we're not trying anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've covered quite a bit. I haven't got it. Like, we've got two things. I don't know what those are. Strengths? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. That is, um... Oh, yeah, Crossbow says, that was my thought, too. I think it's part of the temple graphic just being persistent inventory. in memory. Inventory. It's your inventory, yeah. but it doesn't say what your inventory is. No, it doesn't give any pictures. Of like, what is the shield? You can't pick what is it? No. What was the select switch thing? Because there was um, some information about that. And where? It's like press A, press the left switch to A to use this big um, superpower. There it is, right there. Right there. What? That paragraph. About the Switched legendary a. book of striking? Yeah. Do I have that? Do you think that's what that is? No idea. Okay. Oh my god. Oops. Farming for health. Farming for health. You have to defeat the queen and save her beloved. The path is blocked by a dark curse that is immune to normal swords. You must collect three Newman leaves to gain the power to break the curse. So I think those are your Newman leaves. You have two, oh, and you need a third one. Okay. So you probably have to defeat this person too. Yeah. So yes, you do have to hit the small red line to mm -hmm. damage the invisible boss. Yeah. It's just about like they hit you hard. You just have to. Jesus. It was shooting at you. So, it was. Yeah. One more. It's, a, it's, it's like, feels like it's very doable. Let's just get a bit more health. Position yourself. Just perfect. Oops. So you walk through that, but it gets stuck on that. Mm -hmm. It does still shoot, though. But you get more health than it takes away normally. Maybe if I can move over a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Give me some hearts! 
There we go. It's better. It's almost full. Yeah. I think I'm That's full. That's pretty full. There you there go. There we go. I did better coming from the right hand side. Because then I'm not. Did I kill it? Yeah, but that you ran away. <laughs> it was cornering me, so I was having a bit of trouble. I'm going to get up oh, health again. Goodness. Yeah, definitely okay. from the right because it shoots on the left. So as long as yeah. you stay away from the shot, you're okay. Yep. I think that's the key. I think you defeated it, but you ran away too fast. Too quick. To, I, the one thing I find thing. is, yeah, if you're too close to the edges, it flips the screen inadvertently. So yeah. you really do have to kind of... Okay. I think about here would be a good starting point. Ugh. Oh, it starts over. It's okay. As long as I don't die, I'm okay. So I can build up pretty quick. It only takes about three fish. One fish, two fish. Red fish, blue fish. Except it's a black fish. Mm -hmm. It's a bad fishy. Shoots, spits at you. Land fish. Oh, four! Mm. <gasps> I'm getting more powerful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, maybe I can uh, get more health then. <laughs> You're definitely at your max. Nope, shot you from the side. <sighs> so, should I give up? Should I try this? I think I defeated him. You have I a lot more hearts him. now. You have a lot more hearts now. I think you did, and you ran off. <laughs> Just I get think your so hearts. too. Minute energy. Yes, it does. That's a game where you you play it like. A minute at a time. Yeah. Have you ever seen that? No. Um, but the game remembers things you've done. So you have to complete the game in minute deaths. Oh. Kind of like, oh, you throw a switch, you died. But that's okay because you threw the switch. Mm -hmm. Oh, you went against a boss, but you died, but you beat, beat the boss. Therefore, you can continue on in the game. But in the, in the game minute, you only have one minute every death like you die after a minute so you have to figure out what you can do within that minute it's very very clever oh okay full is my strategy optimized i, I think oh see yay. i needed to collect that what is I that don't the think book it's a collect oh it could be the book yeah maybe half a book is there a path here oh, anywhere? No. Goodness. Okay, I did it. And he's gone forever. He's gone forever. Yay! Oh, it is that white thing. It's not a fish. It's it's kind of the fish exploding and yeah. that white thing coming on the screen. So something. You did it! I did. Now I have to see what has changed. Not that. Not that. Uh, is it the... Uh... Oh, snake! Uh, I think I'll go around that snake. Oh. Ah, thank you, Porkins Sten, <laughs> for following. Glad you're enjoying the show. My nice. valiant efforts to try and defeat the bosses. Oh, fall. Okay, let's go check out the, oh, the shield's still there. There was another, it was a big boss. I've done What's this there? boss. There was the boss in the wall that doesn't do anything. So this doesn't go any further. Yeah. If you go to the uh, go up from here. Okay. That guy's not. He's not that anything. hard, really. But he's not blocking anything. You go up. Porkinson is raiding. Oh, Yay! Thank you, Porkinson, for raiding. Welcome all the people from Porkinson's channel. <laughs> so if you go up. We're playing a oh. oh, we're playing Atari Twenty Six Hundred oh. games. This is this where way? the the other thing I defeated was. Oh, okay. Mm. But I can look for other paths. There's a path up. Oh, I don't think I've been here. Okay. Into the black. That's good. This, yeah, this is new. Oh. <gasps> oh. Okay. This is a boss. This is new. Okay, watch out. <laughs> I need more health. Oh. Oh, Ooh. that's good too. What is that? Is that one of those Another things? leafy thing. I think I'll it do it from like here. Because then I can get two. Mm. Nope, not a max. Ow! Ah. Why are you stuck? Get unstuck. I think I'll just keep trying with this bat. 
these really easy. No, but he's only dropping those. those. I need mm. health. You're not bad on health, though. Yeah, but it's a boss. You don't. Oh, there's some. I'll come in from this side. Oh yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh. Now I can farm two of them. I'm almost full. Oh, you're full now. Yep. Okay. Good. Boss time. Okay. Okay, ready? I just have to stay out of... Oh, another leaf. So you've got three Powerful. leaves. Hurrah. Oh, it turned into a Three. You've got all three thing. now, I think. Okay. What does that do? Well, that you need that apparently to defeat the queen. Oh, have we seen the queen? The queen's on the black ship. <laughs> have we seen the black ship? Uh, no, but you can get to the black ship. From? Is anchored near the beach. When you find a way to make the tides recede, you'll be able to go to the ship from the beach. Oh, my God. Okay, so up here. the beach is... There is a map. I've been there. I've been here. The beach is, like, down here. I've been here. That's an enemy. I've defeated that enemy. Okay, let's go to the beach. So... Go, yeah, get out of this this maze. Okay. And then go down. What's up to the left? You've been that way already? Ye yeah, I just ventured all in there. Oh. I've, I've been all the way through okay. there. Defeated both the enemy, both the bosses in there now. Okay, so. Uh, down? Down. And to the right? Keep going down. Down, okay. There's a boss in here which I defeated. Okay. Oh wait, that is the that is the black ship. This is the ship? Oh, it does look kind of like a ship. Yeah. Yeah, it is a ship. There's that a is sail. The ship. So and you defeated the boss on the right. Yep. And then it says it opens up a path. Yeah, okay, so you've already defeated that. Okay. And you find the way to make the tides to Yale to go to the ship. Once you find your way to the black ship, another road will be open to you. But that's not the only road that will be open to you. Oh, it just means there's a road somewhere else. So the shield's still blocked. The castle had an armory. Who knows what useful items you may find there. Ooh, we can go back so to the castle. the castle is above the rye fields. Okay. Um, I know where that is now. Yeah. It's over here. Yeah. There it is. So, so it's up above the rye fields. So that's the castle. So I couldn't somewhere find a way there's in an before. armory. There was Maybe a door it's open to the now? right. I don't know. No. I no. Can't, can't get in. Is it, uh, maybe you can get there from the forest? On the right? No? Uh down? Yeah, um, down. I tried right? before, but there might be a way open now. Yeah, you can see. No. I'll go all the way around the castle. Let's see. There wasn't... That looks like the door that... Well, you haven't gone from the top, though, have you? Yep, I've traced all the way around oh, before. You? Yep. This guy will attack you. Oh, down on the right? No. No. So... Nothing there. Nothing. Let's see if I can... Nothing. Nope, it's blocked all the way around. I'm pretty sure it's that door that has to open. That is not open yet. You've been into the cemetery. Yep. Turn that switch. Yep, it's nothing in the cemetery. Forest of the tree. So, where are you? If you go, not that way. Go back th to the right. Okay. And like over to where that that black guy. The game kind of grows on you. It does. It does because it. At has... first, it's like, what is happening? Yeah. But then you're like, okay, okay, I'm getting into it. You have mm. to defeat bosses. You have to get stronger. Figure out their patterns. You understand the land. Mm -hmm. So. So go Down. to the right. Okay. It doesn't really matter how. Just go to the right. And then you get more powerful, which is... Does help. This guy's bad. This guy so goes right for down you. or... To the right. Keep going. Okay. Yeah. And then you can go down if you want and around. And okay. so you end up here and then go up. Okay. Uh, kill the uh, lampshade. <laughs> uh. oh. oh my god. Whoa. Oof. 
Snakes are fast, but... Okay. Oh, he moves now. <gasps> okay. There you go. So Big now boulder, there's a Because I'm path. strong enough. I have the three leaves of the book or... I don't oh, know. yes. That's what it is. So maybe... Now that you've moved this dude... Well, this whole area is open now. I still don't have like the... Oh, oh, trees. trees. Get... Oh my gosh. You have to move them all the time. <laughs> Whenever you get back to them. Okay. I'm scared for that tree. Oh, oh. I got full health. Alright. This is a brand new area. Oh, a dog. It's an evil dog. <laughs> we it's don't a, kill nice dogs here. It's a bad dog. No. Another tree. Weird. Okay. Dead end. It's just a little maze. It's not too bad. Oh, the trees. Oh! oh. <gasps> Finally, Is a weapon! Is that a sword? That's a, or a, well, it looks like a weapon. Yep. Yep. I've got an upgraded sword. Nice! No. Kitty. It's kitty, a someone says. It, kitty. It's a bad kitty. It's a bitey kitty. It's a bitey kitty. Uh, so that just comes around here. Mm -hmm. Go down to the left, no? Yeah, this is a new path here. Oh. Bad kitty! <gasps> is that the, is that the, the, the woman? Uh, I is need that some the witch? Health. It looks like the witch. Go up to the left. Over to the left. There you go. It's Why? up there. Just, oh, it's just, just more this. of a thing. I'm just going to get some... Yeah, get some... Kitty health. Oh, oh, there we go. Got a full one. Okay, so... Let's check out this. Okay, she shoots from the top. Oh, she moves super fast! <gasps> Yowzas. But she comes down far enough that... Matt Mars! Where, what game are we playing? <laughs> a tour. A tour. A -T, a t u r e, and we're pretty far into the game now. Yeah, actually, I think that might be the final witch. It's it's the only boss left. Although you haven't been able to figure out how to get the uh, shield, but you you did get the. That's um, true. At uh, or into this castle, so. So there's still a couple there's things. There's definitely left. some things to. Oh, do I go? Up or you can here? go up. You can go up. Yeah, oh, you can yeah, go okay. that way too. Nice. Oh no. No, no, it's to the. Oh, oh my or god. To the right, yeah. There. I need health from easy things. Yeah. Oh, not for me. Oh. Yeah. It doesn't help if you run into it. No. A T U R E. A T U R E. Mm -hmm. Making some some progress, which is a lot good. of progress. We were gonna give up, but then we tried some more. And we made it further. Ooh. It's a charming game. It definitely takes a little bit to get into it. Oh yeah, it does. It makes a lot more sense. Good job. Okay. Get the bad tree. Oh, Don't run God. into the tree. There Running you. into things is deadly. Deadly, yeah. Oh, good luck with that witch. Oh, my God. Oh, you get the thing back again. I guess so. That's where I farm. Oh, I'm full. Mm -hmm. Okay, must have got something. Okay. Uh, she comes down, and when she's on your level, I just... I, I think, don't know what you do. I think I died from her touching me. Yes, now. you got to stay away. Oh, She's I don't know. So fast. I feel like you need your sh the shield or something, you know? She's so fast. I don't uh, even have time to go around her. Is there something you can use to shoot? Yeah, what is that thing? What was that switching the left? Oh, the end in the cemetery. Legendary Book changes. of Striking, which I do have it. I have it. Yeah. If you can find it, you will need to switch the left difficulty A to activate it and switch the left difficulty back B to disable it. Every book of striking costs one Newman point. I have four. Mm -hmm. So I can hit her four times. Mm -hmm. So I just switch it to A right now. We don't need to switch it back. Okay. So I should be able to hit her from yeah. a distance. In theory. Okay. I used them all four up and then I have to just fight her normally. So yeah, switch it. Did, did you reset her? 
Well, I do when I leave the room, so yeah. I have to fight this cat for a little bit. Well, that's for health. You have lots of health. It'll drop. It, it dropped a full thing at, at one point. Like it powered me up completely. Did it? Yeah. It's a good thing you have. Oh, see? there it is. Good thing you have that fancy arcade stick. I can only imagine trying to hit the fire button in a regular <laughs> joystick as rapidly as you do. Yeah, this is so good. <laughs> oh my god. It just changed gaming when I got it. Everything is magical now. Oh, do you want me to switch it? Yes. Okay. And then I have to switch it back to B as I soon do? as I hit it four times. Because you, you still have your sword. What does it say? It says to switch it back to... Just to disable it. Okay, mm. so I don't need to. I think you still have your sword. So I have to hit it four times. And then... And then, then just hit her as much as I can. I hope it works. Yeah. Come back. <gasps> oh, got her. Oh my god. Now I can flip it. Yeah. Nice. Wow, what the hell? Maybe it was a cumulative thing. Hi. Oh, this is who I rescue. Hi. Oh, good job. I did it even without the shield. Even I did without it. the shield because you had the book. Bye. Good job. Oh. oh, so cute. Oh, my goodness. So you can do the game without the shield. It never opened up. <laughs> so I missed something, but I I did it the hard way. <laughs> Hey, yeah. good thing we remembered about that book, because I think that would have been very hard. You probably yeah. need the shield or the book, right? Oh, the dude abides for says, good job. Thank you, the Thank dude you. abides. <laughs> okay. Now we can move on to the next game. Mm -hmm. Game number two, which is uh, Sisyphus. Which is a very interesting game. We played this before, right? No, we have not. Oh, I'm thinking of something else. Yeah. Something else with a mythology themed. Uh... Yeah, that was um, a very different game that we played. Okay. Uh, so, sorry, I have to load up the cartridge graphics. So, if you could go to it, just navigate to it. Don't start it. Okay. Uh, this game won't take long. <laughs> Short. Just by the nature of it. Are you just rolling something up a hill and it's... it falls back down? Then you roll it up and it falls back down. How do you know that? Do you know ancient mythology? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, go for it. It's a pretty. It's a pretty famous. Story. Pretty well known. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's used in a, in sayings a lot. So this yeah. is made by Kirk Israel. He posted on January twenty sixth, twenty twenty one. Look at the. Or look at that little bright green guy. He's so cute. <laughs> Ten, you ruined the plot. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Something done in killing. They're evil cats. They're very cat yeah. bad. They bite you. They kill you. Or Kirk Jerk, or will take forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one or the other. One must imagine Sisyphus happy, it says. An original game for the Atari 2600. Grapple with the existential absurdity of life in the comfort of your own living room. The gods have decreed you, Sisyphus, must struggle against the monumental rock using all of your royal might to roll it to the top of the mountain so it's up to the right up to the right up to the right when you fail the rock is awarded one point uh progress by alternating pressing left and up on your joystick device after a period of inaction the atari cpu will take up sisyphus burden on your behalf oh Allowing the game is to act as a stylish philosophical art piece and an ex existential commentary in screensaver form. Uh, Sisyphus, and Sisyphus has a sense of, sense of playfulness. You have to look at it from the rock's point of view. Um, and somebody, he posted a, a tweet from somebody, Jennifer, and Jennifer said, just realize that the itsy bitsy spider is Sisyphus for toddlers. Yeah. Because <laughs> it never gets, uh, the spider never gets up to the top. The rain keeps washing the spider down. Mm -hmm. So the rock is winning yeah. at this point. You have zero points. Yeah. How, uh, just, how do you ever get points? Well, you have to get to the top. I do. No, not the very top. <laughs> That's the joke. Oh. <laughs> you can't. The rock is going to continually win. Repeated movements reminds me of Activision Decathlon and the blisters that came with it. So you really, for this game, you need a controller with um, two buttons, up 
and to the right. Yeah. Now, I want to make an observation that Kirk was very smart. You can't just go upright, upright, upright. You have to go up, neutral, right, neutral. Yes, you do. Yeah. Because yeah. watch this. It's, it's, it's a, or have a four-way joystick. Yeah. Like I'm doing up and right. No. No, you have to go to the middle. Yeah. Up, right, up, right, up, right, up. And he runs away from the boulder. Up, well, right. it rolls down and smushes. So it is tiresome doing the up and right. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> and you can't even do it in a, a circular motion. Oh, it starts automatically if you leave it alone. Yeah. That is, well, oh, that is... I left it running the whole day. That is so funny. I kind of want to put it on at work and just let it run in the background and see how people react to it. <laughs> Kirk actually made the game so it has to read neutral. Not just yes. left or not... Not yeah. left and not right. Yeah. Because if you go in a circle, it doesn't work. No, it doesn't. You it has to go to the center. Yeah. Clever, Perfect clever, for clever. A, a arcade stick. Someone mentioned that should be using a driving controller or a trackball. Mm -hmm. Yes. So let's let it do its thing, I think. Mm. While we talk about the next game. Mm. <laughs> And wait for it to kick in, it's just so I cute. can see how fast it moves the boulder up. Mm. Um, so the next game is Dragon Hunt, and it's kind of a Hunt the Wumpus game. Mm. And we've played a number of Hunt the Wumpus games. I think we had a Hunt the Wumpus day early on. Okay. We played all of them. Okay. So this is a new one. <laughs> it's a work in progress, 2020. Oh, there we go. He's doing his thing. Always tired. <laughs> He's resting, which makes sense. You know, mm -hmm. he has a little rest, breathing heavy. Let's see when he goes. Come on, back to work. Get that boulder up that hill. It is your lot in life. How long does it take? Come on. And the good thing is about this. Is, oh, there he goes. Is that. Um, this, the color changes, so mm -hmm. it really is a screensaver. Mm -hmm. um, he's got quite a few frames of animation. One, two, three, four. One, two. So four animation, four frames, rolling it up, and then like at least two or three. It isn't a lot, but it's his life. <laughs> <Ross Wilson's. laughs> um, <laughs> so there we go. That's the game. Uh, That's pretty cute. It is. It is. It's very cute. Yeah. It's one of those games where it's like okay. Yeah. It's 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 not. A full game no 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 but it is also a game like yeah. it qualifies as a game oh, for sure because there is a goal even though you can't do it yeah it's just funny it's so so funny um so let's let up dragon hunt let me get the graphics first dragon hunt i am terrible at these types of games What is going on? Sorry. <laughs> I'm changing the graphics and they're seeing it in real time. Yeah. <laughs> get to see behind the scenes. There you go. Oops, lol, says Metal Finger. <laughs> ah, the magic of live. Mm -hmm. So this is by Captain Spazzer, who has kept his name secret. I mm -hmm. cannot find his real name. That's okay. You can keep your secrets. Uh, he says, I'm almost done with Dragon Hunt. A nerve-wrecking... Nerve-wracking. Adventure where you, the brave adventurer, enters the dragon's dungeon armed with only your wits and a couple of magic arrows. Mm. So, go for it. Uh, at this stage, I'm mainly hunting for bugs. If you encounter any bugs, please report them. <laughs> dragon hunt. As you go through the dungeon, you will notice that your senses tell you things about your surroundings. So let's go to the first screen. Oh, Captain Spazzer. You disappoint me. <laughs> have to press reset oh you're starting okay you're going to die what is going on well stop moving i, I was you. just i was trying to turn directions but you haven't explained how this works yet no uh so it looks like I'm a dragon confused. and a arrow you have three arrows how do i get the arrow as you go through the dungeon you'll notice that your senses tell you things about your surroundings these symbols of your senses are located at the top of the screen mm. so you sense a Dragon. A dragon tells you a dragon is nearby. Okay. The wind symbol tells you you feel a draft. That means an acid-filled pit is nearby. 
The noise symbol tells you you hear a noise, and that means a bat's nearby. Okay. The arrow symbol tells you you see an arrow nearby. I think those are actually your arrows, and that's the symbol up there. Okay. At the bottom left of the screen is your quiver indicates how many arrows you have. Three. Gotcha. If you... Uh, there you go. Vitoko says the U in hunt seems to be a V. <laughs> so dragon... Uh, Hovnt. <laughs> Hovnt. Uh... If you step into a room with an acid pit, you fall to your death. If you step into a room with a dragon, you'll be incinerated. If you step into a room with a bat, the bat will move you to a random room. Mm. So you lose all of your senses. If you step into a room with an arrow, you get an extra arrow. But only if you have less than three. If you already have three, you get 200 points. How do I win this thing? You win if you figure out where the dragon is and shoot a magic arrow into that room the dragon is. This nets you 1,000 points. Controls. At the title, flips, flip the reset switch to begin the game. No, no, no. Uh, press the button. In the drag, in the dungeon, you move from room to room by moving the joystick up, down, left, right. That only indicates a dragon is somewhere nearby. Doesn't mean he's oh, up. Oh, so I don't know where. Yeah. Uh, in the dungeon, you fire your arrow by holding the fire button and moving the joystick in the direction you wish to shoot. How do you know where they are? Well, you have to figure that Guess? out by something's nearby. By and dying? Moving. Like... Well, if you move to the left... Yeah. It's not, I don't know where he is, though. That's the whole... It's a puzzle game. Listen, if you move to the left... Yeah. You're not going to have a dragon nearby. Because now there's a wind nearby. You know the wind's not to the left. Because mm. nothing is to the left. Oh, I see. Safety okay. is. Go. It might be up. It might be right. It might be down. So which way did you go? Up. Okay. There's an arrow. So, now the dragon isn't nearby yeah so the left is closer to the dragon safe, but closer to the dragon yeah the up is fine and the right and the, is fine the dragon would be left or down from the original position yeah. you were mm -hmm. yeah and so, the acid pit so the left is safe and might be an arrow no it won't be an, well, it might no, be up, an arrow. up is safe uh, and right is safe there's nothing bad immediately around me oh true everything is safe mm -hmm. yeah so that's a good starting point, actually. Okay. So now you I'm didn't get gnomes. an arrow. No. So going down to the right will be the arrow. There we go. But you already had three. But so that, you got there's a noise. Points. Right. So I think there's something. What would that be? A bat? No. What's the noise again? Uh, the noise is a uh, bat. Yeah. A bat. Okay. Uh, one more so thing. So bat. I, I, I need a map to draw. It is. It's a it's a logic map. It is a logic map. And it would be fun to, to do that. Actually draw it out. Yeah. And the game is a 4 by 4 repeating grid. Repeating grid. Well, it wraps around. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. She never played Wumpus? No, I don't. Not the Wumpus. Super ancient game. Ancient, I ancient, ancient. I never did. I've not even heard of that reference before, so. I have nothing for... Here, you can use your Fitbit. Box. Oh. <laughs> I actually use this box. Is that a pen? I'll get you a pen. I kind of want to restart, so... Actually, you're in a really I hit... good position. Well, yeah. I just, uh... I guess, does it does it um change every time you replay the game? Yeah, it would. A TI-99 game. Loving the 3D effect on this one. Yeah. I mean, if you're just going to have static screens, why not make it uh, a really decent 3D effect? So, you got the 4x4 four four grid, or are you going to fill it in as you go? I don't know where to start, though. Well, you don't really start anywhere, right? It's It wraps around, so you can start anywhere you want. Left wraps around to the right, right wraps around to the left, top to the bottom. No, I know, but I mean, I'm trying to remember. I had gone up. So I went up this way. The flicker is in there. sync with the frame rate. Uh, make sure you're watching at 60 frames a second. Uh, you should be able to see all of it. Uh, I can't see all the elements. Right now there are, uh, is a three and an arrow in the bottom of the screen and a noise at the top of the screen. TI 990 was not popular in Canada in the 1980s? Yeah, yeah. Um, 
I knew one person with a TI-99. Um, what else did people have, like early computers? I know t one of my friends had a TRS-80. Um, I want to say I knew one person with an Atari, but I didn't really know them well, so I never really got to see much of it. That was my only encounter. I don't even know if it was an Atari. It might have been. I didn't know much about it then. I only saw it once. Learned basic on the Trash 80 Model 3 in high school. Yeah, Darcy had a, a, a TRS-80. So, so far you're staying pretty safe, which is good. Well, no, I'm trying to figure out... So all directions there are safe if you go back one, which is good. So you can map out those. Oh, no. Mm. Maybe the bat moves. No, that's the oh. acid pit. Oh, okay. So there's so an acid pit. My dad thought they'd make good computers because they're calculators and watches. The price probably didn't hurt. Well, they're fine computers. They did their job. They're fairly popular. They had a lot of software, the TRS-80. Uh, my computer was a, a Commodore 64 in like 86. It must have been 86 because somebody posted some manuals the other day and there were two revisions. One was an 84 manual and one was an 86 manual. And I had the 86 manual, so I definitely had a, got it in 86 or maybe a bit earlier. Um, and I'm really happy that I got a Commodore 64 because it had quite the staying power and had tons of games on it. Hi, kitty. Oh, so loving. Um, and I programmed a bunch of really simple programs, which I still have. I need to dump them <laughs> so I can show them off on the show one day. That'd be fun. Show all my programming off mm. on the show. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it through an emulator, make it easier. So I don't have to set up the C64. Oh, oh, kitties. Truly. Narrowing it down? Sort of. Yeah. You kind of have to have almost a grid within a grid saying, this isn't where the dragon is, this isn't where the acid pit is. Or maybe acid pit, maybe dragon. Yeah, I, I'm regretting how I started because... You can make a bigger grid. I think this is a good game to use it on because you've found many safe spots. I, I'm already confused. Oh no. <laughs> is she mapping the game? Yes. You kind of need to, because it's hard to remember what is somewhere, what may be somewhere. I think I'm making a big mistake. <laughs> Want me to map it? Help. No, I, I, I want to start over because I had already moved to a bunch of places. Well, just pretend you've started over right now. Like, this is a perfect spot to start. No, it's it, like it doesn't matter. You're safe around. It doesn't matter. That starting spot was absolutely safe all four directions. That's the wind. Given the name of the display, this might be an homage to the handheld more than the Wumpus. So, homage to an homage. Yeah, I can't that remember mazes like this. There are way too uh, too many elements going on. Even though there's only three things. It's the dragon, the bat, yeah, and the acid pit. Out of 16 grids. So three out of 16 are dangerous. Oh, there are only, there are only three things. Yeah. Well, then that's easy. Um, and there's an, an an arrow or more than one arrow, but you just kind of run across that, I think. Oh, the arrow symbol tells you there's an arrow nearby. Um, lots of safe spaces, which makes sense that there's lots of safe spaces, because. No, that doesn't make sense. Hmm. 
three, three out of 16, there's going to be a lot of empty areas. The dungeon is a 4x4 four four grid. The kicker is it loops from top to bottom and side to side in order to add an extra challenge. Keep in mind you can't sense what is in the room at the far top, bottom, or left, right. You can only sense what is next to your current room. I've got something wrong. Every room in the, color, in the dungeon is color-coded. So that helps a bit, I guess. 16 colors. Yeah, I definitely have something wrong. Start over. No. Walk us through what you're thinking. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. Very quiet. I, just, I, I mean, it's just a matter of. I've ran out of things to talk about with this game. So I think that is where the acid is there. But now I think I've got it wrong. That dragon doesn't make sense, though. It has to be one away. The blue. No, how, no, how, when does it indicate that something's nearby? When you're next to it. Either it's above you, left, to the right, or below you. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. The uh, wind, wind symbol. Yes, I know. An a I'm answering him. Yeah. <laughs> the wind symbol is a draft. It means an acid pit is nearby. And the noise symbol is you hear noise in a bat. So right next to her is a bat and an acid pit. And yeah, she knows where so it's there's, not. There's the bat. Because. Down. See. That doesn't work. So she's found the acid pit. No. Because she's, you've seen, you've been on two sides of. No, that. I've, I've found. So I think the bat is above me here. Okay. Go to the left. Nothing. Go up. The bat's. The bat's to the, the right. right. Yeah. So. Now. What I can't figure out is where the acid is. Okay. Because I know if I go down, I'm, I'm okay. Now go to the left. Yeah. And go up. So that tells me the dragon okay. is nearby. So, so the acid could be below you in that spot that so you're if at. If I go below... kind of makes sense to me. But this doesn't make sense, because I would have guessed the acid would be here or here. Where are you right now? Like, for the for the acid... But it, that would be diagonal. The bat takes you to a different spot in the maze. I don't know where you are right now. What, which spot are you in right now? Here. There. Okay. Right? But I was up here before. Yep. And it was showing the wind. Oh. So that would mean it's diagonal, so that's why I'm a little confused. So I've got something wrong this, this is a hard game to translate it doesn't make visually. sense yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> because just, i mean it's I just a little the, grid i mean i could bring the webcam over but it, i mean i could take a chance i think i know where the dragon is yeah we've well, got three arrows so if you i mean you can kill him because don't shoot in the direction you came from and you'll get him isn't that a little easy? Like you walk into a room. So I think the dragon is down. Which way did you come in this room? From the right? From the yeah, from there. So I think you I'm came there. into the room from the right. So from there's the left. From the right to the left. Yeah. Yeah. So there's only three directions the dragon's in. It's up, left, or down. I think it's down. So you can shoot in those three, and you have so three. So how arrows. do I shoot down? Hold the hold the button. Yeah. And press in a direction. There you go. And that's it? Yay. Yep. And then you have uh, the next level. Oh. With one less arrow. So you start over again. Yeah. In a different oh. maze. Oh. <laughs> Does the bot, bat ever drop you in the pit room or the drag room? I don't think it sh would. I think that would be pretty unfair. So now we're level two and it's the same thing? Yep. But you have one less. Well, you always start with two arrows, I guess. Because that makes sense. Because if you had three arrows every time, you would just step into a dragon room and win. But you found an arrow, which gives But I already you... had three. 
Uh, you found an arrow in the last game. Yeah, but I, I only had... You can't get more than three. No, because that's very unfair. Three's already unfair. Okay. Okay, you going to do this level? Sure. <laughs> so, starting position. Oh, another safe room. No, you should put... Wait, wait, wait. Why? You were started there, right? Yeah. And you went there, right? Yeah. That means that's empty, that's empty, that's empty, that's empty, that's empty. That sure. is nothing, 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 nothing. Right? All safe. On this one. Safe, safe. So she's mapped out like eight rooms already that are safe. And then here, and that's yep. safe, and that's safe. So everything's down there. So. Ah, so that's going to be easy. So that's safe? Wow. Uh, that's hard to believe. There's that. The wind is an acid pit. Yep. What? It didn't indicate a dragon was next to you. Right? It didn't put a dragon at the top. No. The game lies. <laughs> lies. Sure. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> that didn't seem quite right. And and even when I was f trying to figure out where the acid pit was, I'm like, this doesn't make sense. If I if I something if is right. weird. Something is weird. It's still a work in progress. It is. It is. So we can watch this and go. Mm. <laughs> I'm a little confused. Yeah. But very cool concept. Yeah. And I did p beat the first level, even though logically it didn't make sense. I think the representation in this version <laughs> was a lot better than the representation in the other versions. Yep. Because the other ones didn't make sense at all to me. Even though they some of them looked graphically gotcha. better. Dragon reminds me of the dragon from Tic Tac Doe. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> That's a reference. Okay. Uh, we're gonna be playing Robotron. 2684 next, which supports the Quadtari. Nice. Which we're definitely going to be using. Didn't the manual say something about not being able to, to sense across the grid? Maybe you can't sense in a wraparound? But, where, yeah. but who knows where the wraparound uh, is? You, you would need to know where you're starting, though. Yeah. Maybe that's... I don't know. That might have been it? Yeah. I don't know. Interesting. Okay. We're going to start off with <sighs> one... Excuse me. Joystick. Okay. One. Uh, one dual joystick. Oh, you want to play this? No, you start first. I have to read a lot really? of stuff. Oh, all the changes? Yep. Alrighty. Robot War? Uh, yep. One second. One second. Mm -hmm. Robot War. There we go. Go for it. I've made a few changes to co-op mode, mm. Mm, so we might have to play co-op mode. So Quadtari, save key... Do I still have the save key plugged in? I guess I do. I didn't unplug it. That's true. Um, no, it recognizes you're on a Quadtari now, so... Um, I think most of the changes are co-op so that's what we're here to test but go for a hard game what how do i can i pick co-op or no no not right now because we only have one joystick plugged in oh i see okay i think i need to a second? No. it's dual joystick as soon as i switch it Show me. We need to get it to dual joystick. Yes, we do. Can you... Why didn't you set it as dual joystick? <laughs> I'm confused. Oh, there you go. Because it's based on a switch. You need to help me. What am I doing? Press the button and... Move the joystick. Does it work? No. You have to use both joysticks. Yeah. To tell me. No. No. Try now. Okay. Yeah. That looked like it. it was working. It's working? Looks like it. Okay, good. Okay. 
not great with the dual joystick as well. Once you get used to it, it is it is better. You just have to change your mindset a bit. So, uh, John sent me uh, this. Uh, no, the game's not physically out yet, but I do have some information on that, possibly, for people. Maybe. I think. Oh, yes, I do. Uh, this, he is hoping to have this out in May or June, I believe. So really soon, like in a couple months, because it's almost it's almost ready. Yeah, it feels pretty solid. Yeah. So it'll physically be out May, June, depending on schedules and timings and physical things that need to be made and ordered. So I would I would always uh, guess later than sooner. But I, I would it'd be safe to say this summer. Um, I've made some few changes to co-op mode. Um, as I may have mentioned, Joey and I have got two million points in advance. So I think it may be too easy, as you can really exploit the revive feature once you get good at it. I was hoping to add some more strategy to the revive, but still keep it exciting, uh, as this is one of the most exciting parts of the game. One idea was to uh, limit the revive, um, so you can only revive once per life. Right now the revive counts as a reset after death or at the start of a level, so once per level. So you can revive a player on level one. Uh, and then revive them again on level, level two during the same life. With this change, you would only be able to revive a player once per life. So if you revive player one, revive player two on level one, then level two, player two got killed again, he would just disappear. Oh. Of course, if player one and player two both get killed and a new life is started, the revive counts for both players would be reset. So in effect, you would get two revives per shared life, one for each player. The other idea would uh, to be put max rescue time in where a player would have a set number of seconds to revive the other player. Which, yeah, I like that one. Right now you have infinite time. That might be too easy. With the change, if you didn't revive the player within the time limit, the zombie player would just disappear. I thought he was going to turn into a zombie. That would be funny. However, since he wasn't revived, the player could be revived at the next level if he got killed again. Yeah, that's fair. Note that both players are always brought back into the game after death or at the start of a level. Yeah. Anyway, to help with testing, I have it so each skill level has a different set of rules for co-op revival. We can go back to single joystick for No, 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 I'm just getting used to it. I think only one person can use dual. No, t both people can use dual, but I don't have two duels. No, no, yeah, yeah. So would you rather use a single or a no, dual? No, it's fine. I'm just getting used to it. No, I mean it. when both of us play. Oh, when both of us play? Yeah. Well, would you rather don't do... we have to each have our own joysticks? Yeah, but well, one person can be on just a single joystick, and one person be on dual. Oh, I don't care. Okay. Don't I'll go care. on dual then. Yeah. Again, to help with testing, I have it at each skill level, so a different, uh, each one has a different set of rules for co-op revival. Um, so he would like f some... Yeah, we are on advanced. You're on advanced. Oh, I know. <laughs> That's <laughs> why to, it's hard. It's to prime her. <laughs> yeah. That's why it's hard. Uh, okay. Oh, so he got rid of the one rescue per life restriction in this one. Uh, each skill level is a time to rescue before the player's rescue disappears. So about 12 seconds for advanced, 16 for standard, and 20 for novice. Okay. 20 is a long time. Every four seconds, a series of warning beeps are played at a faster pace, and the rescuee blinks faster too, which hopefully will build up some tension and excitement as you race to rescue the other player. Uh, I also fixed a bug where if you played co-op game which needs two joysticks with a quadtari and save key, it would let you save your last game's mode as co-op, which it should. But if you start a new game with only one joystick, very complex thing. 
would still allow you to play a co-op game with one joystick which has interesting side effects. You could basically control both players with one stick. Wow. You can now only select starting waves of 1, 11, 21, or 31. Being able to jump to a brain wave was unfair. <laughs> Plus, now you have to go through at least 10 waves to earn a peak at Turbo Hawks. Lastly, I randomized the end level warp sequence colors a bit more so they look a bit different from level to level. Okay. I think that's most of the big changes, so I'm gonna get the other nice joystick. Nice! Brainwave! Oh, they're so hard. They're so, so, so hard. Uh, Dude Abide says, very cool. I know this isn't Atari news, but I just got the new Castlevania and television homebrew that game in Televania in the mail today, and I can't wait to play it this weekend. I ordered that too, so it should be coming here soon. Mm. It looks really good. It's amazing what they were able to do with the Intellivision yeah. for Castlevania. Unbelievable. I tried to get that one, but it was sold out. Yeah, that's not surprising. Castlevania on the Intellivision? A really good version? Okay. Okay. Going to go to player. Do you want the double joystick? Yeah. Plugging in the joystick for you. Okay. And then unplug in the Atari box. We're not going to use it just because the setup is more complicated. I was going to extend it out. Okay. So your second player. Um. There's constant shooting, right? There's a... For you, yeah. You hold down the button. Yeah, constant shooting, then you change directions by the button. and. Yeah, is that what it's it set to? We'll get it set to that. Okay. Because I definitely prefer that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It does it look amazing in television. Quadtari, Quadtari. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh my God. I have to get two player. Yeah. Hold up. Try this setting. So you try to move around. Is it right for you? Yeah, looks right. Yeah. Okay. So we are good. I think we're a novice. We yeah. Uh, a novice. no, standard, standard. Standard? That's what we're on. Okay, that's. Fine. Oh my God! Rescue me! Help me! I'm in the Where bottom left. Bottom left. Thank you. Oh, and now I got hit. I'll rescue you. Thank you. <laughs> Why you have rescued. What connection did you remove? A buzzer disappeared. Oh, it was the Atari box. Is it making noises? That's interesting. I'll have to listen to that when I play it back. Two player action, those robots oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Look at these guys, look at them. Look at them. Oh, they're turning them into oh, zombies. So Stop hard. walking towards them. Oh, God. Do we both? Oh, you have to tell me when you're... I said that! Oh, I didn't hear it. We're both going for the same things. So. Well, it's... When you, when you clear a path, it uh, definitely... Tell me you're dead. Oh. Come on. I died because instantaneously. I, uh, Tell me when you said that. <laughs> Tell it doesn't me. matter. It's not like you're necessarily anywhere near me, so. Oh, these guys are hard too. Yeah, I know, so well of them. Oh my god. This feels like advanced. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Help me. Oh, oh no, we lost a life. Hulks are indestructible. There we go. Mm. This 
swear I shot that circle like ten times. Oh, like, I know. No. no. <laughs> oh, rescue me, I'm in the boat. Oh. Oh. So much on the screen. So much on the screen. Oh. Help, left. Left side. Help me, thank you. Oh, and then I died. I can rescue you. That's okay. No, I need to. I need help too. <laughs> ah! That's okay. Only one of us has to survive to not lose a life. Yeah. I believe. But when it's this busy, holy smokes. Oh, Brain dead. Wave. Dead. Where I have you? to find a safe. It was right in the middle. I have, you to, have to find to tell a safe. Well. So we're testing the new rescue feature. Ah! Dead. Bottom left. Okay. Oh. No. It's, it's hard. The new rescue. So much to look at at the screen. My eyes, my eyes. Yes. Go kill the last thing yet. Oh. Okay. Oh, middle. I don't know. I don't think I can get you. Oh. <laughs> so much on the screen. Oh my goodness. There's so much on the screen. To, like, keep track of the person, you know, like, the other person is, like... Yeah. So hard. This is the busiest 2600 game ever. Ah! Oh, almost made it to you. Ball, those balls. Almost made it to you. They are bouncing. Oh, we got me on bottom left. Okay, coming. Uh, it's okay. Coming. No, it's not. Or, no, I was what? killed I touched you. Yeah, and oh. the guy was on top of me, so... Oh. Sometimes it's better just if there's, like, one thing left. So much on the screen! Yeah, exactly. Try to find a path that's, like, impossible. Oh. oh! Both died. Oh, dead in the middle. Dead in the middle? The thing is... He can move and shoot. I have to pause every time I change my my shot direction. Yeah. So I think I'm dead then? Uh, nope. Everybody comes back. We're co-op. Oh, yeah. And so that's that's what the event oh. of the two. What am I doing? Oh, it's like you're trying to kit shoot one thing. Nope. Nope. There we no. go. It's like the 21st century sci-fi wild western oh my game. Goodness. Yeah. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. Help! I died, and then you said help. I was like, no, <laughs> oh. no, 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 I died. Oh, you I didn't it was die. Because we tend to follow the same areas because well, that's... it it, prote it's, it protects you. Oh, it's because that area is clear, right? So. Chaos, chaos. Stay out of my area. No, no, no. I don't know. Oh, help me, left. Ah, left. No. Help me. Upper left. Oh, oh. I was trying to get there. Uh. I did get a lot, though. Oh, I hate those round things. They're so annoying. Are you dead? Middle. I'm oh. dead in the middle. Yeah. That's okay. There was Good much job, left. guys. Thank you. It's hectic. Oh. To say the least. Oh, help me, left hand side. If you can. Almost oh. there. Hulk's so hanging around me, though. Much. So much. Ah, help, right hand side. Oh, I <laughs> almost had him! Oh. oh. There's one guy left. There, there we, we go. go. I, almost got you there. I know. Got me. Oh. oh no, it's game over. It's a good score. 285,000. Yeah. I don't think that's bad. So. That's, that's advanced. You gonna try novice? Advanced. Advanced. Brutal. That's gonna be brutal. Uh, well, no, we'll start no. with normal. Because they were advanced, I was gonna go, let's go to the higher level. Well, this is calm. In comparison. Wait, wait. I'm gonna rescue this guy. There we go. Calm in comparison. I think 
the time to rescue on normal is plenty. We didn't really run out. We died before we ran out. So advanced is like 12 seconds, I think now. Game over, man. Game yeah. over. That's right. Oh, so much stuff. Ah, on the left hand side, if you. Uh, no, no. that's not gonna happen. Side. Oh, I, 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 yeah. like, when you say you're dead, it's almost worse because then I start <laughs> getting distracted. Yeah. Panic time. Well, I start getting distracted and I really just need to look at what's around me so I don't die. This is yeah. so tight. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You gotta clear a path. And yeah. Make... Like, get the heck out oh, of Dodge. I'm right next to you to the right. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, dead. Where are you? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because you're really far away, so you might as well just kill the few, the last few things that are on the, that are on the screen. Left, down, oh. oh. Yeah, it's too full. Advanced. Advanced, <laughs> man. Oh. Oh my god, just fall. Oh my god, down, just a... Uh, no, it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> surrounded. When they're on top of you, it's like... Oh, I just touched it. Ah! Last life. Oh. Keep up the good work, guys. You can do it. Thank you. Oh boy. We need it. Oh, better way out. I'm, I'm coming for you. Nope. Back up. You died again immediately? Yeah, immediately. Oh, that's nice. Alright. this out. Oh. A lot of zombies. A lot, a lot of zombies. A lot of guys, a lot of brains. Brain dudes. Get that guy. Yep. There we go. Nice. Took a long time to clear that level. Oh, I've got to get out of the center. Oh. I'll come for you. There you go. You're revived. Thank you. Welcome. Coming for you. There you go. Oh. Oh. Both. So many green guys. They're I just... know, they take over. And you can't do anything about them, they just block your way. Am I dead yet? <laughs> I, I sometimes I'm looking at you too, like that's part yeah. of the problem. It's like... You lose track. Ah. Ooh, a good score. Yeah. Sure well, good no score. help from me, let me tell you. Oh, we no. <laughs> no. No, 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 no zombies, walking dead brainers. No! Yeah, lots of zombies. Out of here. There we go. Oh, 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 I thought oh. it was okay. There you go. One last circle, then one last guy. There we go. Oh, brain, er brain. brain eaters. Child eating brains. Yeah. Leave those children alone. Oh, got me. Oh, oh got me. Killing those things, there we go. Whew! Oh. Got an extra 
extra life there. I do need it. Oh, oh so hard. Coming. Coming. Get okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah. I need to help. There we go. Oh, I'm there to the left, just to the left. Help, 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 help. Uh, oh. I was trying to. You're almost there. The green guy was right on top of you. If I'd revived you, he would have just killed you instantaneously. I swear those green guys just surround you like when you're dead. Help, lower, lower, lower right. Oh, I don't know God. if we can make it to me. No. Uh, green guys. I know, they're terrible. Last robot dude. There we go. Oh. Right, oh. Back at the center. That's <laughs> fine. Oh. Here we go. The wrong person. Oh, I'm dead again. In the crosshair. Oh. Is that it? Oh. Nope. One life left. Ooh, really good for um, expert level. I think so. Okay, there we go. Good job. Got him. Those green guys suck. Yes, they suck. Very, very, okay. very, very oh much. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, we got one extra life. Oh, just. Yeah. Now, because you just need to clear a path. And once you've got that path, then you've got to. It does make it easier for sure. Open area. Much better. Go. Ho, 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 ho. Gotcha. I'm oh, dead. Oh, oh we're both dead. That's good. pretty good. 32. Um, 321,000. I'll have one spar easy. Okay. Played on easy. Yeah. So we'll go up Oof. to 31. Right? 31? Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're at 20. Well, it's just the same as advanced. Uh, it's a little different. Oh my god. <laughs> we died immediately. The rescue times really haven't been a problem. Like, we die before. We either finish the level, help, left. We either die or finish the level before the time runs out. Planetary 1969, thank you so much for subscribing again. And supporting the madness that is Robotron. Robot War 2684. God help me. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I do get mixed up between you and me. Uh, I do too. A lot. I do too. It, because it, we start in the same spot. So. Yeah, it can kind of mess you up. So you really have to concentrate on the pink. Help me, left, bottom, there. Help me. Oh, and now I died. I can Trying rescue to you here. too. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just wait until there's a decent time to do so. game is growing on me. Oh, I love this more game! More and more every time I play it. It grows on you? It's great! Because I, I never really gave it a thought in the arcade because yeah. it always looked like, this is intimidating, this game. It I is intimidating. I just looked at it and go, I went, I had no idea what's happening in this game. So I never really played it because no. it was too crazy. Too uh, crowded. Um, 
but as per usual, um, John Champo has done a magnificent job of porting this to the 2600, and I'm going to play it in the arcade next time I see it. Yeah. Because I'll be like, oh, I can actually oh. play this game. Well, looking at the wrong person. To a point. Still hard. It's not hard. It's incredibly hard. Oh! I need to clear a path. I need to just take a very measured approach to playing it and not, like, panic or sit in the same spot. Yeah. You have to clear path, move to it. I'm orange, he's pink. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, dead by the same thing. Yep. Figure out some of these guys. Strafing is a really good tactic in this oh. game. You just point in a direction, kind of go then up just, and down. And then try and then... to clear a path for yourself. Yep. And then... Oh, got me. Where are you? Oh. Bottom. That's okay. Bottom corner. Help me, I'm in the middle. Sorry. I'm surrounded. No point, yeah. Oh. Coming for you. Coming for you. Gotcha. Nope. Oh. Did you I, yeah, there was someone on top of me, so it doesn't really help. Um, you can, you do get a couple seconds. Not of, really. Or a second. <laughs> Not really. That's okay. Invincibility. Almost done. Robots. Yeah. Sometimes the screen clearing tactic doesn't work because there's the things are moving too fast to even clear any kind of Rescuing going on now. We've cleared it out a bit. Zombies! No zombies! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh! Sometimes it's just so dense. They start you off and it's so dense. Yeah. It's like. Or there's green oh. guys everywhere and they're like, ah, get out of my way! Ah, oh, damn it, I'm in the middle. Oh. Oh, you finished it. Nice. Many. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? In the middle. There you go. Thank you. Zombies, no! No! Gotcha. Ah, uh, quartered. That is a different game, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> it is very fresh. Oh my god, help. Ah, <laughs> look at the ball. Oh, it went right into me. Uh, oh, uh, damn it. 49th wave. Whew. Laser beams bouncing off the wall. It's insane. I can yeah. probably guarantee that this is the game with the most characters. Well, on the screen? On yeah. the screen at once in the 2600 game. Because he's using Playfield yeah. as characters. And besides that, there's just Ooh, 31 uh, to 49. I mean, we're on easy decent. level, but oh. very good. Uh, so my note to John, if he's watching this, 
or I'll email or him as well. Or watches it later. <laughs> watches it later. Yeah. He's not watching. Um, he is, there's plenty of time. We never ran out of time to rescue. Mm. So I think it can be cut down if that wants, if you want that to be a factor. Because um, we either finished the game or died before rescuing the other person or rescued the person. But I don't think we once ran out of time. Did we? Like you never disappeared from the screen. You just sat there waiting to be rescued. Yeah, I think for the most part the time was fine. Yeah, so I could probably cut in even half. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. So I think you said um, 12 seconds for advanced. Mm. 16 for standard, 20 for novice. Maybe not half, maybe cut it down by a third. Maybe something like that, because half might be a bit extreme. Um, but awesome. Look how low you are in the, in the camera. <laughs> how low I am in the camera? How sunken in. Oh, I'm leaning back. <laughs> yeah. I'm leaning back too, so that doesn't help. Um, so that is our show for today. Thank like, you for watching. It was watching. two shows. <laughs> mm. We did play more before this, so if you weren't watching that, we played on YouTube, which is available now. Yes, as well. we played instantaneously. All, all the way through Circus Convoy, mm. almost twice, because um, I died right right before I finished finished it. Uh, due to buy, it's got to go, guys. It's been really great watching you guys stream. Thanks for both streams. Thank I you think for you're coming. new, so if you want to follow, you'll be told about it next time. Yes, but I think you might have followed already. Yeah. <laughs> um, there is big news. Uh, Champ Games Ultra Secret Game Reveal mm. is coming up in May, June. I don't know what it is. Tanny doesn't know what it is. And we won't know what it is until May, June. We've done this. Oh, thank you very much for following Dude Bites. Yay! And the number goes up by one. Yeah. <laughs> 717 people. Uh, might go to 718 soon. Um, wow. We did this before. Mm -hmm. One time was Galagon slash Galaga. Oh, that yes. That was the first one. Yeah. This, where we just turned it on and it just came on the screen. The second one, I think, was this game. Was it? Yes. And he made us do this very complicated... Oh, jeez. Yeah. Puzzle he, solving. He had a puzzle solving thing and we were just like... John, we, just... just <laughs> we need hints. We need yeah. major hints, John. We can't get this. But he, yeah. he helped us through it. We did get through it. Yeah. We figured out the puzzle mm -hmm. with a lot of hints. This year, he's not going to make us <laughs> Jump work, work for it too much. He may do something, but... It, well, it's fine. Yeah. It was just taking a little while for us to get to, get to it. So, it was multi-stage. Yeah. It was multi-stage. It was very smart. Hey, so, Arena Foot. Hey, Arena Foot. You missed... Most of the stream. <laughs> two streams. That's okay. Yeah. Two streams. So that is scheduled already mm -hmm. for uh, May May 14th. Okay. Wow. That's pretty soon. Uh, so it's March 23rd, mm -hmm. so just under two months. Okay. Uh, there's going to be a super secret Champ Games reveal... On cool. the show, live, we don't know what it is. I have hopes. I have dreams. <laughs> and we'll and we'll do we'll do another round of uh, of guesses. Yeah, okay. Just before it, not not now. Okay. It's way too far in the future. Like we'll do it the week <laughs> before, and we'll see if anybody can guess what it is. Okay. Because I have the old list. I have a suspicion, but I don't know if it's going to come true. So. Well, I, yeah, I have a yep. suspicion, but I, and a hope too. And a hope. Uh, but it's not anything he's announced because that's been announced. It's not going to be the Champ mm. Sports game. Okay. Just Champ. Not going to be the final release baseball. of Robotron or anything. No, like that. it's a yeah. new, new game unannounced. Robot Wars. Yeah. It'll be Robot Wars. Um, so that's really exciting. Yeah, very cool. Still here. <laughs> Big reveal. Got to go now. Bye. <laughs> bye, dude. Bye. 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 <laughs> uh, so, uh, games coming up, shows coming up, lots of exciting things. We have Space Venture, mm -hmm. an exclusive premiere of Space Venture. That is by Carl G. Mm. Uh, it's on the 7800. This is next show. Um, 
Cool. It is... Oh, I can't say anything about it. Can I? I don't know. Uh, has he talked <laughs> about it? I don't think he's talked about it, so I can't say you, anything. You won't. Okay. Yeah. I have played it a little bit. Um, so we'll be playing that and Cosmic Cabby and Wizard's Dungeon updated. He's updated it since we talked about it last, so it's going to be even better. Yeah. So that's on the show next uh, on Friday. Uh, next Monday, next Tuesday is 2600 show. Mm. I have some things in the works. Might be some exclusive stuff coming up. Um, just got some emails today. Uh, next uh, Friday after that, we'll be playing Worm, Dungeon Stalker, Get Lost on the 7800. And then I don't know for the next one. Then the show after that is the developer spotlight on Bob DeCrescenzo with a live video interview with him. Uh, lots about Pac-Man. <laughs> lots of Pac-Man stuff. But he makes other, lots of other games besides Pac-Man. So mm. you're going to be playing a lot of Pac-Man. A lot of Pac-Man. I'm so excited. You've got to practice your Pac-Man. I know. Then. I'm going to have to work on my Pac-Man skills. See, yeah. Because uh, some of these Pac-Mans are hard. Mm. Hard, hard, hard. Um, we did the Circus Convoy full playthrough today. We'll pro Actually, we'll probably schedule that for next Tuesday. Okay you playing it cool and we'll go through the manual we'll kind of all the bits talk and more yeah. about it Cause, okay because today we just did like play through here's how you win the game yeah. all right and so uh next time we'll slow it down a bit and play through it a little bit slower and, and some people would already have already played it by then mm. and maybe we'll know where those extra six uh stars are and we'll maybe be able to complete it cool yeah um uh, and then in the summertime sometime we're going to be showing Casey's Gold from Dan Kitchen oh, that's gonna be for sure that'll be really exciting um, another special unannounced event is coming very soon like really really soon it's going to be on a Saturday it may even be not this Saturday but the one after okay. it might it might be pushed one more week but I don't know It's there's like an I would say 95% chance it's going to be on not this Saturday, but either the Saturday after or the Saturday after that. Hmm. Bob's Astro Blaster. We're going to play all the games. Nice. Every single game. Nice. So we'll definitely be playing Astro Blaster yeah. if, he's, if he's made that. We still haven't played all his games on the show. No. So. Definitely. And then we'll play them properly after because we're just kind of we'll talking touch on through them. them. Yeah. yeah. We just touch on them because he's got a lot of games to get through. Um, yeah, that's the near stuff course the Hall halloween special and the christmas special oh way off way, way off. off not even worth talking yeah. about <laughs> um so today we played a tour mm -hmm. started off slow going hmm, this is a weird game yep then it got Kinda more and got more interesting it. it's yeah. like okay i get it oh you get more powerful oh there's a boss oh that's how you defeat bosses yeah <laughs> well that's how you get our upgrades oh yeah. now we kind of get familiarized with the map and then we won. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was kind of surprising. It's like, oh, <laughs> here and we, we go. And we didn't get all the things, but we won anyway. Through yeah. Sheer so there's power. obviously more stuff to get and there more is. little little things hidden in there. So that's yeah. cool. Because we got the weapon. The weapon, I think, was we at the end. We got the book. And the book, but not the shield. Not the shield. And, we and got not the armor. Not the armor either. We got the three things, which you allowed us... You have to us... get that to move that big black blob right. so you can get past it. So I think... I think it says you can't get past it until you have the three leaves. That's right. So, yeah. so that was that. definitely how you got past him. Yeah. yeah that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and we played Sisyphus, kind of. Yeah. Uh, He's a more bit. a little demo, kind of. Yeah, a little fun thing. Yeah, it's yeah. very cute. But it was like very well made yeah. for what it was. It was very cute. Uh, and we played Dragon Hunt, which mm -hmm. was uh, good for what it was. Um, and you did win. Yeah, I'm confused, but there may, may be something in the logic I'm not yeah. getting. But I think anyway. it's the wraparound that yeah. might be messing us up, that you can't see past the wraparound yeah. or something. But uh, definitely worth playing if you uh, do like the Wump Hunt the Wumpus kind of games. Because mm -hmm. um, it's a really good version of, of it. Yeah. Uh, very straightforward. You know what's going on. You can see the things clearly. I've played ones that are like, I have no idea. Yeah. Is it indicating it? What? What? Where? What is going on? Yeah, yeah. what's going on? It's nice. good. And Robot War 2684, mm. exclusive update here. Um, t he added in timeouts mm. for the co-op mode, um, which is smart because he found it way too easy. Yeah. Um, so you can't 
you can't leave just leave that keep... person for too long. Yeah. Yep. Um, so it's kind of good to add that in. And yeah. I think he needs to make it shorter because even at our skill level, we were able to do it. We we're still able to do it yeah. without any problem. Well, yeah. we kept dying. Well, though. yeah. And that was a different die. issue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but reviving and getting to the person to revive them was not yeah. a problem. Yeah. Um, so that's what we played today. Great games. Mm -hmm. Always fun. And we saw a lot of new people. And we had a uh, invasion. What was it called? <laughs> what happens when they... They had, we had an attack. Oh, uh, um, a raid. A, a raid. That's it. Yes, thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. They raided in. Raided for five people. That's yeah, very nice. That's very We've nice. had a raid once before. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes people kind of do it randomly too, yeah. which is which like, is neat. Like, hey, you go. I'll yeah. Go watch that that stream. Yeah. Um. So thanks everybody for watching today and enjoying what we did. Ice Posta, Dude Abides for welcome. Yeah. Arena Foot, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> you have to rewind, watch the rest of it. Uh, Dan AVC, Fidelco, uh, Metal Atari 1969, Crossbow, uh, Nostalgic 26, uh, Metal Lunar 7, yeah. Kirk Jerk, yeah, Kev Kelly, uh, who else? Pack Rat VG, Nostalgic 26, Neo Media, 1974. That's a new name. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Carl G. I noticed uh, Neo Media was on uh, the YouTube stream, too. Oh, yeah. nice. So he came over. I think so, yeah. Oh, yeah. he kept watching. He saw the whole yeah. thing. Yeah, jumped over. Uh, Porkinston, who's, who, who was the person who raided. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, very, very, very cool. Uh, Cafe Man 2D, Yay. Deactivated Styles, and a filthy name, my mom. Yeah. There you go. That's all I'm going to say that one. <laughs> and uh, Metal Lunar 7, if I didn't say that name. So thank you very much. We'll be back on Friday, just in time for the weekend, yep. with some more fun games. Uh, an exclusive work in progress premiere of Space Venture by Carl G. So you definitely want to be here for that. So uh, until next time, mm -hmm. uh, thanks so much, and we'll see you on Friday. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. wait, wait. An Atari. Come wait, here. Wait, wait. Come here. Come here, baby. Oh. Atari bye -bye. says bye. Bye-bye. Meow. 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 Bye, everyone. Bye.